if you're an aspiring developer and if you want to make money, you need to understand that every single YouTuber is lying to you. They are telling you that getting a developer job has to be a struggle, but in this video, I'm going to prove to you otherwise. I'm going to help you out to stand out, you know, because I used to be in your shoes years ago. I used to struggle. I used to, you know, I couldn't sleep sometimes. You know, I had this uh, dream, this ambition of becoming a developer and making a lot of money, traveling the world, working remotely. And the only thing that kept me alive was this, this dream that I had. But the reality is... Uh, the reality of the day today uh, was something different. I didn't know what projects to build. I didn't know what to learn. What is like really the 2080 that's going to actually get me the results? Because I do like coding or I used to like coding a lot. Now I like it again because I'm doing it again. But you know what? I like more getting paid, making money. I don't want to code just for the sake of coding because if you are like me, you have bills to pay and... You want to buy expensive toys, you want to buy a nice car, you want to buy a nice apartment, a nice house, you want to go to a five stars hotel. All these things cost money and to get money you need to learn how to provide value, okay? And I'm going to show you a project that you can build today uh, which is going to show that you have the competency to provide value to this world and then in return you'll get paid, okay? It's as simple as that. So let's talk about something that probably you're extremely unaware of and that's okay but we need to fix your ignorance before we even start working on this project because otherwise you'll be stupid forever and if you're stupid you're not gonna make money okay so how do you provide value to someone with your code because if you want to stand out you need to provide value i hope this makes sense okay you don't need to solve lead code problems you don't need to learn css properties you need to learn how to solve problems because when you solve problems you alleviate pain and that creates value okay and there are different types of problems that are more valuable than others okay or like finding a solution for those problems will be giving you more okay so let's let's uh, actually start to uncover this if you are a regular person i assume you are because you are an aspiring developer you are very much used with consumer software so youtube linkedin twitter like you're literally consuming content that's what you're doing all day maybe you have a habit tracker on your phone maybe you have a meditation app on your phone maybe you have like a music player like you have basic basic applications right you don't even know what software is about because you never actually tried making any sort of money two three weeks ago maybe even a month ago i made a video called how to make a thousand dollars a week with coding and the beauty of that video is that even though let's say you start applying the information from there, you won't be able to make a thousand dollars in a week because you don't have the skills yet. So you'd have to spend a few months trying to understand how that process works before you can even make any money, right? This is not a get rich quick scheme. But the beauty of that process is that as you are trying to, you know, acquire customers for your business, this is your business, biz, right? As you're trying to get people to look at your business because that's what's called uh, marketing you will encounter problems right big problems like how do you get in touch with people that would need your services this is a problem and then you'll start using different softwares like uh i don't know mailchimp right you have mailchimp then you have maybe active campaign to send emails Maybe you have, I don't know exact all, all the email softwares. There are a bunch of them. But then you'll start using some of those softwares. And you'll realize that some of them, they offer too much. Some of them, they do a lot of things really well, but they have one or two features that are missing that would really help you out. And then you start thinking, hey, maybe I can solve this for myself. And then another pr person would have the same problems as me. And then if I solve that problem, for myself and then for other people then i'll make cash that's kind of how it works it's as simple as that right it's not easy but it's simple so now why would this happen in the first place because this is a side effect of something and we need to understand the side effect in order to make money well all assassins a software as a services is a database right in which we can add data add data and then 
read the data to understand the data, to make some sort of sense of what's happening in there. Let me explain you. For example, in your day-to-day -day life, before we get into the business stuff, you have certain inputs that go into your body, into your mind, and then from that you create outputs. Like if you do not have energy, then you'll die, right? So basically, in order for you to produce something, either to go to work or to write code or whatever, you need to eat, you need to drink, you need to sleep, and you need to rest. What else? This, let's say, let's start with these four. If you start tracking data, okay, and then you say, okay, every week or every day of the week, I'm going to track when I wake up, when I go to bed, how many hours I sleep, how much food I eat, how many calories I eat, at what time do I eat, what type of foods do I eat, what is the macro split when it comes to what I ingest into my body, how much water I drink, how and when I drink my water, and then if you try to be as consistent as possible, so let's say every day you eat at 12 p.m. on the dot, every day you eat your dinner at 5 p.m. on the dot, every hour you drink 200 milliliters of water, well, you'll start to have a data set. And then you'll change one variable, okay? Let's say instead of eating 200 grams of carbs, you'll eat 180 grams of carbs. So you start tracking that data. At the same time, because you are tracking your inputs, you'll also start tracking your outputs. So for example, how do you feel every hour? How do you feel after you eat? How much work have you produced, right? And then you start to make some sort of correlation between like the inputs that are going into your body and your outputs, okay? That's why people say, hey, limit your screen time because you'll be way more productive. Why will you be way more productive? Because if you don't do that bad thing, you'll have time to do the good thing, okay? If you don't eat sugar before you start coding, then you'll have no sugar crash and then you'll be able to be more productive, right? So you start tracking these things and then you start to understand how to operate yourself like a business. A business, right, because we need to pretty much create a software that helps a business, right? If you create a software for consumers, it's not going to be that profitable. Plus, consumers are not that... Uh, uh, keen to spend money, okay? So the idea is to create a software for a business and that's why I said in the beginning, hey, if you are a regular person and you're just watching YouTube, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, you have no idea about what is happening in the real world. And when you start to operate like a business, you'll start to realize that a business has a lot of data points, okay? And as a business owner, you need to track as many data points as possible. I'm actually doing this for myself right now. I'm building a SaaS for myself that is tracking a bunch of data points. And those data points will help me make better decisions, right? So we take data inputs, we look at the data, and then we make decisions. And then if you go into a business, let's say tomorrow you decide, look, I don't want to be a loser for my entire life and I want to learn how to make money and I want to produce some value to this world, you'll do this tomorrow, okay? Because you want to stand out, right? You're not just watching this YouTube video because you pretend, you, you want to pretend that you want to stand out and you are actually a lazy bum, okay? You're not that person. So tomorrow what you'll do, you'll find a business, right? It can be an online business or an in-person business like a brick and mortar or however it's called. And then you got to go there and say, hey, I want to create a software that's going to change your business, whatever. You have to be creative in coming up with a way to introduce yourself. Maybe you are passionate about something. Maybe you are passionate about brownies, okay? You're going to be passionate about brownies and you're going to go into a brownie shop and say, I want to improve your brownie business. Can I do it? And then you'll start to audit their business. Tell me about this. How many sales do you make? How many ingredients do you order? Do you waste any food, right? Then you start solving their problems, right? This is how you stand out, okay? Now, I'm going to give you some more concrete examples. I know most people are actually tuned off right now because this is too much for them. And I understand that this is not for regular people. This is for intelligent people, right? Um... I'm sorry, uh, I cannot dumb it down more than this. If you do not have the intelligence to understand what I said, then probably being a developer is not for you and you have to like change careers to like delivering pizza or something like that, okay? But anyway, that's besides the point. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to go to that video that I've made, the 
10,000, how to make a thousand bucks a week. Okay. It's like my most viewed video on YouTube because everyone wants to make money quick, right? Who would have guessed? And I want you to actually try that. I want you to try to send a thousand emails to business owners and try to pitch them your idea and see what problems will come across. Uh, will you come across and try to think about how would you solve those problems for yourself? Right. Start to buy software, spend a hundred, 200, 300, 400, $500 a month on software and try to understand it. a bunch of softwares have free trials. Go ahead, try the free trials, make use of those three free trials, understand those softwares, screenshot different things, try to understand their business model. And then sooner rather than later, you'll start to literally see the matrix. Like, for example, I know a bunch of people are like super haters and they don't want to try anything and they all like cry about layoffs and whatever and AI taking their jobs. But in fact, they, they wouldn't have a job anyway. That's uh, that's another point for another time. But you have to be super positive about this and you have to be extremely comfortable with the uncertainty because when you're in school, people tell you do this and then you get this, you know, like learn this subject and then you'll get a test based on the subject. And then if you learned the material right you'll pass the freaking test that's it because you have like you have to select tick boxes right in life and in, in this type of scenario where you want to make a career change and whatnot uh, things are not certain right and you have to understand that and you have to be okay with the uncertainty because if you're not okay with uncertainty you will not make it okay if you want a certain thing to happen at a certain moment in time, like in three months on the dot, it's not going to happen. It's very unlikely. But what is guaranteed to happen is that you'll be very uncertain with everything that you're doing right now. Uh, and then you have to stick with it and then try to understand and make sense of the chaos. And you have to learn how to thrive in the chaos. Okay. But <laughs> this is going to be a very long and hard process if I'm going to be honest with you. And if you don't want to do it, I understand. That's why I have my program developer pro where we actually just focus on learning how to code. I have created an app for you. You just have to contribute based on what I'm telling you to do. You do not have to think about this. You do not have to research business problems. You do not have to uh, interview people. You don't have to do anything. You just come in, you follow my process, right? And then you get hired. As you can see, uh, with Jacob here a few days ago, he got hired. He's making a shit ton of money. I'm not going to tell you how much, but it's like the ideal salary that everyone wants. And his biggest hurdle was the lack of professional experience. But with the secret app that I have, that's not the case anymore. OK, so all you have to do is come here. Look in my classroom. Let me show you. You just follow the courses. Boom, 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 boom. Easy. And you're going to be successful. Do you have problems? You're going to make a post, say, I am stuck with this, blah, blah, blah. And then I and the rest of the people will help you out. Okay. You finish something and you want a review. You come here, you post it in code review. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to answer and I'm going to give you, uh, let's say, a video. I'm going to make a video like this, commenting on your specific code. And let's say you need even more help than that. Well, we have live coaching calls. You come into the live coaching calls and I'm going to answer all your questions. They are all recorded. As you can see, da -da 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 -da, where coaching calls. We have coaching calls since last year, August 2023. We have coaching calls uh, for July, August. I'm going to be doing this forever, right? And we also have interview prep calls, right? Most people, even if they will have an interview, which I highly doubt it, they will bottle it because they don't know how to answer the questions. Okay. No matter how good you are, if you do not have prep in interview, you'll fail. So this is like the simplest guaranteed way to stand out as a developer. Nobody does this, right? Very few people are actually in my coaching program. Of course, most people do YouTube stuff. How do you think you'll stand out against them? Not by watching YouTube videos, obviously, because everyone is doing that by work is working on targeted things every single day. Okay. You are a career changer. You don't have time to waste. You are not 18 anymore. You're not, uh, you don't have time to waste in discord groups. None of that shit. You have to come in, do the work, 
and then get paid as simple as that so if you're interested in that the website that you should follow it's if sorry for being so spastic it's the first link in the description okay it looks like this i have a C guarantee all you have to do is click on this button and then schedule a call with me or someone from my team and then we'll show you how everything works we're not gonna hard sell you or anything so we are only working with people that we can really help and if we cannot help you we'll tell you upfront and if we can help you we'll tell you that we can do that and then we're gonna guarantee you that you'll be job ready okay so that's pretty much it bye bye